<laughs> okay, bravo. <laughs> it's a lot of, no, with those uh, tantalizing sounds uh, on the drums. Welcome to another podcast, uh, The Asylum with Borna Sor for Total Croatia News. And considering we're going to be playing this Saturday, uh, Croatia versus Nigeria, uh, yes. today's guest... Uh, is Ade uh, Vale, a uh, 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 cro- uh, Croatian restaurant or- owner of an African restaurant in downtown Zagreb. So, Ade, thank you for having us. Thank you very much. And uh, great music, and, and we also got the flags. So, yes. yeah. So, I guess we'll both be cheering for Nigeria this Saturday. Eh? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> maybe I guess I'm going to use it for long in this walk up. Or if I didn't use it for long, then I would change to Croatia because oh, okay. I'm like my second choice on this World Cup is going to be Croatia. So Okay, but we can agree, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, you can win if we go through the group, okay? Yeah, I would like, <laughs> my wish is like Croatia and Nigeria go through, but it's very, very hard. It's very hard. It's I'm a like, group of death. Okay, it's, like, it's like, it's like um, I'm dreaming. But it's football. Mm-hmm. You can never know. Anything can happen. How are, are, are people in Nigeria very optimistic about what's gonna happen? Oh my God! Football, Nigeria. Oh, yeah. What? Imagine the finals, the world we're champions. Like, we're like two hundred million people. Let's say one hundred and sixty million is watching football. That's crazy. It's just like Croatia, but four million people <laughs> and four million people watching so, football. So, yeah. so when it comes to football. You know, we have a uh, tribalism in Nigeria. We have Aousa, Igbo, Yoruba, Igbo, Ondo, Akure, Ijebo, the Effective, the Beriberi, the Fulani. Mm-hmm. We are like different kind of tribes and people, but when it comes to football, we become one. Everybody's in short, united. Two enemy can sit and watch football, and when we go, we hug each other. After the match and everything, we can come back to our life. This is, you know, but in that moment, football unites. Football, food, music. That's why, and at the beginning, we play some drums because this is kind of love. It unites people. Oh no, who's who do you think? Uh, I mean. Similar to Croatia. Croatia people love football as well. You know that too. I know. Yeah, everybody's getting really, really ready for the World Cup. Yeah. And it also unites people, I, th- I think, very much. But uh, I remember as a kid, yeah, Nigeria was one of those countries that I remember. JJ Okocha started watching football. Uh, and like Nigeria was this you know, amazing, Marco, amazing football team. Fini Di George. Yeah, Fini Di George. Rashidi Akini. Yeah, it was amazing, amazing team. And uh, do people love not just the football but they love the world cup in nigeria we, Croats, we love the world cup the so, whole it, world playing it's, it's together not about, it's not about the world cup we love football no football just we general. have something we call uh, also sandball on like in brazil something we mm-hmm. play because we have also coast we have also on the ground so we play like three three two two four four five, ah, five okay okay we're used to you know when you are young it's not the only problem we are like then and culture was brought into the football because uh, in africa especially in Nigeria, when little kids, they supposed to do something for the elders, if they're supposed to wash plates and they go to play football, the parents gonna beat them, like, no, oh. you have to be home, do your okay. homework you and everything. School. So we don't have that opportunity, uh, like, okay. like it's here in Europe. But now, I guess things were changing, because it's not just about football anymore. Children, they were dancing, they are creative. So through dancing, they become millionaire, just 10 years old boy. So because of this, the parents now, I think they learn their lesson. They leave the children to to do what they want, what they like in sport and everything. So football is one of it. After one football? It. After football, yeah, what's the next sport? Wrestling. Wrestling? Yes, we call it Gidigu. Oof. If I stick you and you together, I will take you up and put you down. We are trained from baby <laughs> to wrestling. wrestling. Yes, we are so passionate. And you know all this uh, wrestling we watch on the movie in the American. Yeah. When it's time of wrestling, everybody like we have Hulk Hogan. I love Hulk Hogan. Yeah. It's my like so. 
We are so crazy. Wait, wait, but I'm like American, American type of wrestling. wrestling like, yes. We, we call it oh. Gidibo. Oh, but now so we have different our, characters, so many different yes. villains, the good guys, we, we, the bad we, we guys. Have, we have our, yes, we have our own, it's called Gidibo, and it's ages when my tribe became tribe. We already, so wrestling is just like, you know, we have something in common. With oh, amazing. That's how, that, that, yeah. I was, I was just talking the other day with my friend when I was in the kid in the 90s. Yeah, Hollywood Hogan, uh, uh, WCW. Uh, it was really big. WWE. We were loving it as kids. It's, it's we knew something. it was it was like choreographed and yeah. there were stories, but still it was like yeah. it was the superheroes of the 90s. Yeah, yeah so it's still, it's still huge. It's still huge. But now football is everywhere. It's football. It's football and football, and this, the passion is there. And you know, it's kind of. National things when you have the dress. Oh, you have a very Nigeria. special dress this year. So I think everybody's calling it is the most unique dress. Uh, it's, na dre it's national it's, jersey. It right? is yeah. the most sell jersey in out of. I waited for my for three months. So me and my oh, friend, everybody's we buying. Just, everybody buy. Even it's not only Nigerians buying. All the friends of Nigeria. All yeah, it's very people, specific. It's, it's very specific. different. It's, it's really, not the usual. Yeah. Usual. Yeah. It's not the Nike. They were out of the the stuff. Or they said to people, "Okay, we're gonna send to you later. Just wait." I waited for my and it was beautiful. I used it yesterday. So on, you think on you Saturday think Saturday we're gonna. You think there will be? You think there will be? Uh, uh, um, uh, are people going to Russia to to, to the yes, football games even as well? Yes, even from from Croatia here, we organize some ah, of our friends. Yeah, they already. Oh, great! Uh, so they're supporting they're supporting going. the team yeah. on the on the on the stadium. Yes, yeah. Oh, so that's amazing. Go. And Nigeria, we are everywhere. Uh, I guess uh, Moreno said it's gonna be students that will be coming. No, Nigeria migrate a lot. We have over seventy million Nigeria outside Nigeria. So, <laughs> Russia is one of the Russia and Ukraine. We have a lot, and we have in Serbia. So people shot from Croatia. Oh, makes sense. Friend, they already you have said a friend, a going. cousin, or somebody who's the guy. So, yeah. so we're gonna have a lot of uh, Nigerians also supporting. Then we have the supporters club in Nigeria. You have to see their way they sing. We have some songs that we sing. <laughs> that it's. Uh, in Nigeria, we have 550 languages, but we have this song where we sing all tribes, they understand it. Oh, and it's, uh, it's, it's why? It's a combination of languages? It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a, like a, in Pidgin English. Ah, not, okay, oh, yeah, not I get really it. English, English, yeah. In Pidgin English. So Everybody when, can sing it. When we just want the player to go crazy and play, and you're gonna hear it on <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> Well, yeah, we hope. in Croatia we also really love football. There's a whole culture and history and everything. But I think it was very important for us because now people are remembering 20 years ago, we won the bronze medal yeah. in France. And people are remembering it's, well, yeah, people love sports. But people think that the World Cup is always a great place where you can show off. Yeah. You can show off to the world. Because I remember when I was traveling before, when I was younger, I would travel around the world and I would say, I'm from Croatia. People would ask me, where are you from Croatia? They'd be like, where is that? Yeah. And they were like, ah, it's next to Italy, never heard. And then you would say, Shuka or yes. Boban. And they would be like, oh, I just, yes, I, yes, I just want to tell you about Shuka. I never know about Croatia, but when you talk about football, I know there was Shuka. And That's so it. through that, I can yeah. say, okay, Croatian. So. So yeah. I think it's always the World sure. Cup was so always truthful. amazing for yeah. those guys, specifically for countries who who need a little bit of extra promotion. Yeah. Yeah. Croatia was a younger country, a um, smaller country. We Croatia need a lot of exposure, though we have a lot of great players like uh, Modric, uh, yeah. Manjo, Adukic, Lovren, and you know. But still, the yeah. country need to accept more, more and more. Yeah. It's, it's, a good, it's a really good commercial. And, yeah. I think it's really good for younger people, yeah. and specifically if, if you're showing off as a the sport nation. It's always a plus. Yeah. Nobody was gonna say, "Oh, they're a sport nation. It's a problem." It's yeah. always a plus. And uh, I wanted to ask you another thing. So uh, 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 we're going, we can go back to football a little bit later. I, I will be interesting on the end to see what is your prognosis on about the, yeah, the about matches. Them, but, but let's start. So. You have a restaurant here. What, what is your story? How come? How come Croatia? Hmm. That is uh, something really, really personal and not personal. I'm kind of a person that uh, when I, I really, I came here like I found myself so uh, so lonely. 
I found I didn't see my photocopy. I can't see someone who look like me, someone to talk with, to joke with. And uh, we, you know, Africa is a place where uh, our culture is, you have to smile, even though you mm-hmm. are hungry. Even though someone to kid you, still you can still have this smile. And, uh, and apart from that, the weather, uh, the food, uh, the culture, so all those things, no matter as a man, as a human being, we are born to move as a free man. I think I'm a free man, so if I go out of Nigeria and go somewhere else, as a free man, I'm exercising my, my freedom. So you said you have been to many places, but when I came to Croatia, I really love it. It's kind of the situation brought me, but I could have moved forward, like go to where everybody go, like uh, Germany. Yes, because I mean, uh, a lot of Croatians are going away. But, yeah, but it's kind of you will see that I said to myself that yeah, we used to say in our language, uh, uh, you should not go, uh, don't be like a snake that go on the on the uh, brick on. Um, block because mm-hmm. they will not see the path but if you go on the sand they will see uh-huh. your path that oh you um. went through this side so i found myself that i can make changes i can i will not be like a snake that go through uh, hard rock, doesn't hard, leave hard rock that doesn't leave a track so i go out of my country that does not mean i will not go back to my country or i will not do anything with my country at least that's we where have I was two countries so, listed. Just like Croatians, so many Croatians go to Germany, come back, go I back feel, to Germany. I felt the connection. If not that, I would have let. I, I have like 20 friends that we really close. We, they told me, what are you doing here? Germany, Germany, Sweden, Norway. I said, thank you. I think if I go like you, uh, my impact, that uh, my thinking. Uh, if I don't do it, someone will do it, but it can take time. Because then in, in uh, 2011, 12, if you go in the street, you, people will be looking at you a lot. Now nobody, don't, they don't look really, because they do sad now. Everybody know about you. They, but then, sometime, we don't, if you don't understand the language, you felt like maybe they are saying something bad. Meanwhile, oh. maybe they are saying good things about you. So I stayed then. So when I stay, I really, I'm so, I'm so lonely. I need to eat African food. I need to feel like home and everything. So we are combining uh, Greece as uh, to look like Pandediam. And I'm using, uh, uh, I, I used to buy some semenke in the mm-hmm. market. Okay. I make with... Uh, seeds, but Croatian seeds. seeds or... Yeah, it's Croatian, Croatian seeds. seeds. Yeah, okay. uh, because we don't have any African food, anything. Yeah, no. Then, from 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, nothing. 2016. For 2017, then we have Asian shop. It's through Asian shop, we can have something. Now, last year, then we have African shop in Vlashka. So, this is like... When we start, we start from uh, Udruga, Udruga African mm-hmm. Hara Square. This is one of our t-shirts. Okay. <laughs> so it's, and how we, many how many people are in the African? Uh, yeah, we, it's kind of a market, you know. People come, go. Oh, okay. So we are like fluctuating. So what make me get this restaurant is just for the love of culture and diversity. I wanted to make a change. I really don't make this restaurant like I wanted to be a millionaire. I want to have thousands, millions of mm. owners. It's really not possible. But my idea is a lot of Croatians, they go to Africa to volunteer. Uh, a lot of uh, Croatians, they are helping some African kids, like sponsor. Uh, a lot wanted to know about Africa. I've been to schools. 
with children, maybe like 45, 60 schools, you know, like teaching them about African geography, culture. Uh, every time they ask us, what do you eat in Africa? Do you, do you eat lion? <laughs> do you eat love? Do you eat sloan? Do you eat... Uh, no, though, some of the things they ask, yes, we eat, <laughs> but in jungle, <laughs> not in the city. <laughs> you know, I've ate horse before. You and ate? I, yes, and I ate snakes. Snakes, okay. Yeah. That's not... That's not I, I, mean, I mean, I don't think we eat snakes in Croatia because... There's not that many snakes, oh, but I heard we about have pythons. We have snakes. big ones. Yeah. It has just center bone with like like fish. It oh, okay, I didn't know that. So if you remove the skin, it's mm, nice. It tastes, tastes like it. chicken. They always say. Mm, then after that, then we have also a tortoise. Tortoise. A turtle, turtles, okay, yeah. yeah. We, I ate, so I've ate mm -hmm. a lot of divli, yeah, wildlife, divli stuff, different, wild different animals, stuff, animals. because it's Africa, we have them. So here, everything is like, I need to, you know, so I want to show Croatian how the African food look like, how is our culture look like. So the playing of drum, we have a lot of uh, events that we play, and we support a lot of organizations who like to do something in Africa. Maybe they are doing some projects in Africa. Maybe so from our organization, we support them. Maybe they are doing fundraising, a yeah, lot of things. We just want to support, just to show support for people who love Africa. So that's why. So this restaurant and every food we cook here come from Africa. Osim piletina, essence okay. chicken and meat, but all our food it's really local, tradition, uh, good food that really. What did you miss the most? I mean, okay, spices is one thing, but what is like the most basic type of food you eat in Nigeria that you're making now? Cassava. Okay, what is that? Cassava. Yeah. Uh, do you want to see sample? We're back with some interesting food. Let me see. Yeah. All bananas, the green bananas. That is true. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we don't have those. We have yes. only one this type is, of banana. This is plantain banana. It can be very bigger than this, and you cannot eat it like no way. Okay. Never. So it's four way of making it. You can fry it. So when you open, you remove the skin. You slice them put little salt and warm uh, an oil. Ah, so yes, yeah, so it's basically yeah, kind of the... So it can be sweet, but it can be, it can be... It can be, this one... Salty. This one will be chips. Okay. It will not be sweet. It so will not be sweet. when people eat here, they it, said, the cook from pear. Yeah, banana crumpier. potato. It's like from pear. A so, potato, a potato. So you can potato. fry it, then you can cook also, cook it with uh, beans and eat. And when you cook it in the water, if you drink the water, you will go to bed, sleep like you drank. Really? Yes. So this it's is like, <laughs> so it's good for sleeping as well. A medicine and the, food. The water. It's all the food from Africa is medicine. Then if you don't cook it, then you can roast it. Uh, yeah, barbecue, roast barbecue. Barbecue with granite, that is good for men. It's, you don't need to take Africa Shriva. Okay, so no African problem, but <laughs> just this. Grill, grill, grill. Grill okay. and uh, granite. Believe me, we use this a lot. As <laughs> our father used it, and we guys. Well, do you know, this, half of the world needs help. This is yam. Ah, yam, okay. Yam. yam. Yam tuba. It's from the ground. And if you. Now, you know how we make it again when we use all this place? Only this place. If you put it in the soil, it will regrow grow again. again. This is how it's grown. Just this place enough is and enough. That's it. And from grow. this part will grow another yam. We'll grow like another this. yam. And it can be like four, five, six in just one. It's really, we are really rich. And you cannot see it anywhere. Only three and places. And yam is like like 
It's white inside. A little bit like also a little bit like potato, but different taste in it's, the sense it's of it's very very different. Is it, is it now? sweet more or salty? No, it's or not sweet. Combination. It's it's like neutral. Oh, okay, okay. So now I peel it. It's white. If I put it on my body, it's gonna scratch me. Oh, okay. And when it scratch me, it's not like you no, know, I'm gonna get disease or something. It's antibiotic. It's antibiotic. If if you eat this, it's gonna stay in your body for one month. Like. To regulate your, you know, your system, it's really good. So we use it in five different way. We make it as pandan yam. We make it as yam porridge. We also make it like roastil. We also fry it okay, on, on the oil. Then we smash it also like a porridge. It's just and we cook it like and you and it's yeah. I never I, I don't think I taste the yam. yam. It's really awesome. <laughs> And okay, so the most, but of course, it, this doesn't. It's a trap. It it, it it doesn't. It can grow here, right? It's, it's all it's of the, all of this no, stuff no. is basically. Even in Africa, it grows yeah. only in three places: Ghana, Nigeria, and Cameroon. Toito. And that's it. This. This is what we call a goosey. So I don't know how to translate it in our menu, I say semen called lubenita. Uh-huh, okay, okay. But it's not lubenita from here where you can eat. So and it's, it's, some... it's not white, uh, it's uh, like yellow, but when you peel the skin, then it became white. It's very, very healthy. So we cook this here with uh, spinach, then with uh, oil, with uh, tomato sauce, it's one of the food that, even though we eat a lot of uh, carbohydrates or blah, 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 we want to balance the diet, only this once in a day, you have real. You're food. making me hungry now. You're making me really so, hungry. I'm gonna try this. And how did you say this was named? This, this, this for is called football, for football games. Puff Puff. Puff Puff. Nigerian Puff Puff. You can Cheers. check it on Google. When we are playing football, we make it like in a bowl and when we like mm, tension perfect. <sighs> then when we score you like if you order for 20 kuna before you go i think you're gonna pay me 100 kuna because <laughs> you just bring more bring more it's so sweet and uh it's give energy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you just need to drink something cold with it Mmm, mm, it's great. So here, in the restaurant, we use it as a dessert, and people like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. How are the people responding to this? I bet it's new, different tastes. You know, at the beginning, I'm so scared. Like, hmm, Croatia, first African restaurant, and we're having some difficulties sometimes with. Um, you know, with people, with system, with is it going to work fine? I wanted to make it like true association, like Udruga, mm -hmm. but it's very complicated. All my plan is I want to teach a lot of people not to cook for them per se, but I want people to you come, understand, to pick learn, up, you know, learn about let's food. cook together. This is my view. I want to show people how we prepare. I want to show some kids, small children, who always ask me, uh, what do you eat in Africa? <laughs> At least I can provide 10 different types of food for them to cook. But it's very complicated that we could not, I could not do that. Mm. Then I go into the business. And true business is more complicated because I cannot do all those things that I wanted to do. Yeah. Like teaching people, it's it's not allowed in the business. This oh, is but like the business is new, so I'm really still looking for a way of making it. I want you to come and learn something what I eat from my country, what common people eat, what rich people eat. It's and it's just same food, but it's just the way you prepare them. That's it's different. It's different. Yeah. I mean, this is different food, but I understand when it comes to let's say chicken, it's different. Different, yeah, uh, so 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 we, I really looking, I'm looking forward to see how if somebody know how to do it, but as a business, 
and we can still do it as school or something. I would love to. It's not like to gain something, but just to, okay, so educating. Just to educate educating. people. That's, that's a and it's not okay. allowed, you know, if you well, are I not qualified the... for kitchen, if you don't have health, this thing, you cannot enter kitchen. So it's really complicated, like to bring people. So Yeah, just talking about it, but so making I've, it, yeah. But I think this is a brilliant idea, because I think food is probably one of the best things with music to yeah. combine people. Yeah. And people come, they taste, they love it, they ask you about yeah. the recipes, but... Tell me, where do you import this? So it's it's not usual. You have to order it from the outside. Yeah, or we try to order from Nigeria to the uh, Pleso Airport here. They sent to us to our, uh, our country, from Ghana and everywhere. But we couldn't uh, clear it from here mm-hmm. because it's a new thing. So we have to do declaration of ah, those okay. goods. We have to do test of that food. And we have to give it chiffre code to oh, that yeah, food. Makes sense. And testing of one food is like four thousand four hundred kuna times twenty four different oh. type of food. So they say destroy the food, and we destroy all the food. Mm-hmm. It's a big loss at the beginning. I destroyed the food. I couldn't get it. So now, the same food can go to Netherlands without problem. No, oh, because they From have it. Because they usually they have much more shipment. Long they have, time they have ago. A tradition of buying it and bringing it. Yeah, in the sense. time of nineteen zero zero, so oh, everything's constant. facing, so we can buy. So we are looking for a way that we can get that product from Nigeria here. It will be like easy things. We don't need to yeah. know. Anyway, this European Union you know, things it's okay. It's still, but. It will be more expensive, like You're coming you directly. It directly, and so in that places will be the help of the government to to yes, help yes, yes. with small business, startup business, just like this. But spices, and spices, you can normally buy spices. No, no spices. Our spicy also. is quite quite different. No, 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 I mean, but I mean, like you can get spices from Nigeria directly. Yes, but I, no I cannot bring it. No, I cannot no, bring it. Spices no. as well. They also have to go to Netherlands. Everything we use nothing come directly okay. from Nigeria here. Yeah. So we buy them on the forest on, on the European market, tax, yeah, on the European market yeah. and we can sell it here. So and that's good, not bad. At no, least, no, it's good that, that you least, can get it. Yeah, that's at a least plus. we can get yeah. it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Only it's and uh, we are not doing well in terms of uh, the prices mm-hmm. because these are exotic food. Also, oh, the prices are going up. And we are selling. Yeah, it's going up. And we are selling it like just we. I did the price without survey because I really want people to try, taste, eat, see, feel. This is all my mind that people. So we we'll need to a little bit make it higher so that we can have at least something as how we are working. Okay, and can I ask you what is the what do you think about Croatian cuisine? I mean, I understand everybody's missing their their uh, uh, home food, you know, your family food, and and specifically if you don't have the taste like yam or something in Croatia. But was there something in Croatia when you came that you were like, oh, this is a, this is this is interesting food. I never t- tried th- this taste. What is this? Is spice? You know, Croatia can be four million or four point five million, but they have culture than five or a million country. When we talk about dress, hat. I know Croatia have more than 500 different kind of hat. Not just this hat you yeah, saw yeah. from tribes. I read, I saw. And food, a lot of food. So, I love, I love sarma. Sarma, I love sarma. A lot. Like, no, it's, it's, it's Turkish originally, yeah, but the Balkans, we all love it. We all I love don't it, yeah. Care. It's made yeah, here. It's made. It's I made. It's love really it good, the yeah. way they make it. Um, it's like. Yeah, so during winter, you have to have sarma. I do. <laughs> I do. I go to uh, this place, I get it. I really wanted to know how to. Then I love it. Mlint. 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 And uh, Puretin. Puretin. Uh, Turkey. Puret, Turkey. And, Turkey. And, uh, Paste, uh, then, not the paste, ah, not then uh, burek, burek, yeah, yeah. S- burek with sir. I yeah. eat that even though I am cook, but I eat burek every burek, day. Yeah, yeah, burek I can't do without alsa serum. 
Yeah, yeah. No, I love it. I, when I was a kid, uh, growing up in Zagreb, I missed different types of food. But burek, you always would eat burek. And Every it's, other week, you would eat hot. burek. Yeah, it's the best. Oh, the hot cheese. And you find some tea with it, cold tea. Mm, I love it. I mean, there's a lot of food. So that's good. But you like, I see, uh, um, you like, um, this is, you, you would call this... Uh, winter food and uh, when it comes to summer food you you were working on in Dalmatia for the mm-hmm. first couple of years right yeah you were working actually on a tuna field tuna of field. its yeah. uh, Ante yeah. Gotovina the general yeah. Ante Gotovina you were working for him on yeah. the tuna fields yeah. Yeah. so how did you like the Dalmatian uh, cuisine they have a little bit different they're very you know, sea oriented more sea oriented I, I will tell you the truth I if I go out and eat in Biograd then I went to eat pizza Ah, okay. There are some places they serve good pizza that I ate. But most of my time, one year and six, seven months there, I'm cooking. Oh, you're cooking? I'm a fisherman. Yeah, of course. I'm sick of fresh fish. fish. I'm sick of fish every day, all day. Uh, and you can get, I don't know, you're eating. Sc- yeah, yeah, scotia. Yeah, catching fish, Kovacha, making your own fish. Yeah, every day. Uh, Brazil. I'm catching fish every day and I'm eating fish. I can't eat, eat, eat. I don't even remember when I went to the market and buy meat a few times. But the fish, every time I put all the in the water, yeah, there's cook, a fish. I got fish. So I'm making, I love to cook rice. I love to make some fast. So I, all the, I love to cook. So because of this, I'm like in my brain. So just pizza that I ate mostly. Oh, but yeah, I I else. went to 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 a wedding in Biograd with my friend. Then I ate a lot of uh, Dalmatian food. I overate because <laughs> the party is like when food they take this plate, they brought another one. They took this plate, they bring another one. I was saying my stomach is like. Yeah, and they have also drinking, drinking. And then there's also food in the in midnight. Midnight also another line of food it's, it's, that comes it's, in. It's kind of yeah, southern the, weddings the are experience. Is, southern, yeah. It's, you know we have same culture of wedding, uh, but the, uh, the way of our food is eat, eat and finish eating, and you will go and dance and spray money for the. But in Biograd, we are like eating, eating, eating. <laughs> I cannot even, I can't be able to dance anymore. <laughs> but I love everything I ate, and it was great. How did you end up working uh, uh, with Gotovina? That's an interesting story. Yeah, it's not yeah. something you know usually happens. You, so it was. Uh, were you into tuna business or fishing business oh before? Oh my fucking god! Uh, no, I didn't. No, no. I was, uh, I was in a show business. <laughs> show business. <laughs> <laughs> Not like show business, but uh, on my 2013, I, I didn't have a job mostly. So I, and when you are a black guy, you are hot cake then. So I was uh, doing some uh, 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 documentary movie with HRT. Oh, okay. HRT TV. So we there's one movie called the. Uh, the Putniti. Ah, Putniti. So the traveler is yeah. okay. The yeah. documentary movie. Yeah. So I'm like the main uh, yeah, guy. Yeah, they talk to you about how so, is it to be in Croatia. So I was, it's like horror movie, part one, part two. So we went, we moved to many places. We are talking about uh, what are the, uh, the problem facing, you know, in Croatia, it's not easy to be black, really, until now. It's not easy when you are black. A lot of friends, a lot of good things happen, but one negative thing can kill your morale. It can it can bend you. Just one thing in one hundred. You know, there's a lot of guys when we go to schools, play drum with kids. So we had picture. And those guys, they don't like it. They have their own way of thinking. Why are you taking pictures with kids? Of course, we have permission from the parent. The parent is there and the teachers. 
So they started to give our association one point, one point, one point, like to dig, to downgrade us and writing a lot of. So I have to close my Facebook, close the association Facebook. We are like shut down because it's even though my girlfriend she's did you call Croatia, the, did you did you call yeah I went to the everything? police the police say I should go and bring a translator and I'm speaking Croatian properly mm -hmm. I understand but they told me I should bring translator and I should take picture of all those uh, all those things that happen but it's not something serious it's not a uh, uh, maybe some precar shy something so I'm not in interested to spend money for no no it makes money. sense that is true but on the other hand this is uh, it's it's a it's it's a crime that I mean that that it's such a, such a horrible thing I mean it's I imagine it cannot be really easy I, I being really, a foreigner I, in this I, country I, I, let I alone so, I was so being dark skinned yeah I was so devastated you no know, call means a lot of name. And all what I'm doing, I never have. I'm I'm here. I love everyone. I love the society. I'm doing my own part of what I could do. I'm bringing my friends together. I don't let them stay in the room. Let's do something. Let's volunteer. I volunteer mostly now. I'm volunteer with the refugee. I'm I'm working part time, and I'm working here so it's I sleep four hours per day five hours most Saturday Sunday I'm somewhere drumming supporting some people who want to do something about yeah. Africa so this is my life I'm trying my best and some people just one day write a lot of go back to Africa this is, a, this is not a place for you look at what blacks are doing for Africa uh, whites in South Africa what's my business look at what me I'm doing don't look about what I don't judge them even now because I think that's that's their belief that is what they believe I don't when do you have think, to judge them, but they shouldn't talk if, to me if, in if that you way. Can, if you can tell me why do you do you think that is because they they they're not used to having darker people around them, or do you think it's their race to yeah I don't think like other people? It's, it's it can be many things. You no, know, there's a lot of things that I like, a lot of things that I don't like. So some people have gods to say it to your face. I don't like it. Some people don't have gods to say. You know, it depends on how the mentality. Uh, and we should believe. I respect their belief, but they shouldn't point to me. They shouldn't direct to me. Yeah, yeah. You know, it will be. And sometimes, when you travel, when you live where you are born, when you go out and meet more people, you will have different view of life. You will be smart. You will be more intelligent. You will be open-minded. It's just about life. Yeah, planet is a really big, big place. So I travel out of my life. Even though if I don't travel, I have moral, I have sense of humor. So I think it's about hate. It's about confusion. And, but you you mentioned things are better. What do you mean better? Better for you in a sense? This type of behavior is not that happening not anymore. Do you think it's? I mean, the answer, the question is this. I think that we will have more and more diverse population. I think in EU, Croatia, in the future, people from all, all over the planet will come to live in Croatia. Sooner or later, we will have to deal with people who are racist, people who are aggressive, people who are violent. I think your stories and your experience is one of the, kind of, one of the biggest, bi biggest things we have to deal with first, is people who have like, experienced it on themselves. So, when, more education. I think you working with children. You explain the, the culture from Africa or Nigeria specifically. Uh, so what you think? You think those are the stuff that can help? You know, you've just said everything. We have to tackle all these things. We, I think, as whom we have to believe that human being, every one of us, we have right to live. We have right to freedom of moving, right to speak. 
we have right as human beings. We have to enjoy this life. But this, um, that's what we talk about, racism, uh, mentality of uh, closeness and everything. The government can help in that way. You know, I didn't. I didn't see on TV like oh, uh, the Romy, they are human being, the blacks, they are human. Being. There should be something about this. But if if all those things is not, then we or NGO organization can do that. You know, and there's a lot of uh, uh, NGO organization that is working on all this aspect with support of European. You know project but individual as human being we have to do something about it to everyone it's belief it's what they think in their head and it's I think like if we have right wing we have left wing we have liberals everybody have right to think what they wanted to think but still we still have to have common sense and sense of humor just that and through the government media we can do a lot I agree. Yeah. I mean, majority of people they claim that they have that, but yes, I, I don't think it always works. <laughs> but um, uh, so you were doing this documentary that yeah. was showing that it's not easy, it's, it's hard, not, it's travelers. A, yeah. So then through that, uh, I commented like, if there's no proper integration, if someone don't understand Croatian language, believe me, it will be very hard for a black man to have job. If you don't speak the language, if if the way to make business is hard, you cannot integrate. So an integration is when you have friend, when you learn the language, when you when you go out, when you uh, be in the system, when you are integrated, everything will be easy. I don't have job. I don't have job. If you are integrated, if you know people, you have friends. You are in the mist, you are not like in the home, cover yourself, blah, blah, blah. you won't find anything. You will be hungry. But when you are integrated, you will have everything you want. You will have friends, people who will know you, you will know people, you will do it. So through that movie, I said, it will hard. Because then, in 2012, we have really big problem about integration. If you want to go to uh, language school, it's really not easy and everything. So then the Antikotovina call our office, like uh, my association, is there Prince? I say, yes, okay. If you want to work, I will give you a job in Biograd. I work with the fish, a plavi river, blue fish, and the blue sea. Come and see, check it out if you want. Okay. If you don't want, maybe we can look for something. That is one of my good, first good gesture that's uh, it's ever come my way in Croatia. And then I went down. Unfortunately, there's a friend with me when he called. He's also a married man here. He lives three years before me, and he could he didn't work one day. Do and he said job. to me, Prince, please, I need a job too. Can you? Can I go with you? And I called back, can I bring my friend? Yes, 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 bring your friend. Then we went together and we said yes we can do it oh great so, a, so, so a, you had a friend I'm, also I'm you a, didn't start <laughs> tuna hunting on your so, own so I'm not a fisherman I never have been in short <laughs> see it's not my thing I don't I, I was born with, where there's no water river or sea so so there's a, so it's very new to, but I summer courage I do it then then it works fine how was how was uh, how was how was working uh, as a fisherman on, on the Adriatic? It's it's it's. Very I guess during summer it must be hot and a lot of tourists, so but during s- winter it can be easy. <laughs> There's no job that's easy. Oh yeah, that is true. It's especially, right? being but fisherman is a known, fisherman, not an easy it's job. It's not easy, but for the first to six months, after that, it's easier. It's easier because you have people. Immortana cigaretta. <laughs> when you smoke cigar with people, job is easy. <laughs> and we, we sing a lot. You know, yeah, it's thing, you know yeah. it's, it's, it's uh, life on the sea. Believe me. Do you miss it? 
I miss it. You miss it, but in the summer. Do you go every summer on the seaside a little bit? Yeah, you don't have I, to, yeah, do you have I do. Time? Every every year, the last year, we are me and my friend, we are in uh, Zerche, mm -hmm. uh, Novara, the island of Park, Novara, Park, yeah. yeah. So we are there, and this year, we are thinking of uh, Biogra. So ah, I'm, cool. I'm gonna see my star keeper Posade. Oh, right. And uh, it's an interesting story because it's not just, you know, I guess it, it's a nice story by itself. Somebody singing in a documentary, calling and saying, you know, you need a job. I know it's not going to be easy for you to get a job. Maybe I can help. But of all the people, it's it's General Gotovina. It's, how long did it take you to realize that this was not just some normal person calling? Uh, anyway, did you did, did other we, people told that you were joking? Did we, your friends anybody says you're joking? We, you're not saying the truth. Where I'm working, it's um, it's called the Human Rights House, the Center for Peace Study. So they know what they're gonna do. It. Tell me, this is a great man. You will know much about him if you go on the internet. And if he calls, that means he's very serious. And for sure, if you walk. If you will work somewhere, you're not going to get your pay. With this man, you will have your pay. And, you know, it's all about positive, even before I go there. And I didn't even think twice, because when I saw the map of Birgad Namor, I just jumped. I said, I'm going. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> oh, it's, it's like beautiful. So, yeah, it's a good gesture. He's it's, it's, it's a great man, and I will forever appreciate it. Because that is one of my... First uh, experience and working as if I stage. if I if I if I got it correctly from the, from the from the uh, from the stuff I've been reading, you also got a Dalmatian nickname as well. Afriski Shime. Shime, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to give everybody. They have to give a Dalmatian nickname. Yeah, to because you know why? In uh, then in Belgrade, we have a lot of Shime. Shime from Filipe Akov. Shime from Belgrade. Yeah. From Zada. From, from everywhere. So when they call Shime, everybody say, call Shime, Afriski <laughs> Shime. <laughs> because at, at the beginning, I told them I'm Prince, 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 but they are like, Prince, Prince, Peace, Peace. Uh, okay, let's forget about this Prince. We'll call you Shime, okay? It's okay, because this is name, very, very good name. <laughs> All the rich man here, they are called Shime. I said, oh, they don't want to be rich, you call me Shime. Then, it's a problem again when they say Shima, everybody say, Koi Shima, Afrish. So it's like so funny, but it's like. So you were living, and then you were living in Beograd for, for, for a couple of years? Yeah, a year plus. Yeah, and then and then, and then then you moved to Zagreb to open up. Yeah, uh, and then uh, it was uh, the moment of uh, the uh, influx of uh, refugees. So I came to volunteer to help. To talk and to help. Yeah, oh. To help, yeah, so I, and I did. So during that, I got a job with a uh, already an IT company. It's a microfinance software company. I worked there also part-time, but for a year. Then I, in between, I with my organization, we have a, a European Union project. I work also on that. So in all those things, I was working, but I'm not spending money. I'm keeping money. It's just because I have dream of this small place that you saw today. No, this looks amazing. I think that's what I think a lot of stuff missing in Zagreb was this idea of having different uh, options to, to try and see. And people, you know, people like to travel. But it's also, they don't have a lot of chance. Not everybody has a chance to travel a lot. So yeah. to bring them a little bit, you know, rest of the world, to bring them here, I think everybody is, is appreciating. But uh, it seems to me that it's not, I mean, on one hand, you have this something that is so nice, like the stories of, of food and music and, and you know, we're going to be watching football uh, these days and everything. But on the other hand, the immigration story that you mentioned, helping other people. Uh, why do I mean a lot of people in Croatia are leaving? Actually, it's it's a it's a big problem. They say uh, young people are leaving, young educated people are leaving. They want to find job in other countries. They think they don't think there's really this country's um, well fair enough. I think a lot of people think that our politicians are corrupt, that the system is not really working and they just want to have something safe, so they go to Germany, they go to Sweden. Uh, why are the reasons why people from Nigeria leave? I mean, I guess it must be similar, but it's, it's, 
it, not really identical. Yeah, we cannot compare four million with two hundred million. True, true, true. Yeah, it's a different. And, uh, uh, we, Africa, we still Africa. Why European? Though Croatia, Nigeria, and Croatia, we have like everything. It's like similar, look alike in politics, in short weather, sometimes food. So we are like brother and sister in this aspect. Yeah, I would say. A lot of Nigerian we have been migrating for a long time. Yeah, because we are multi ethnic people. We have a very we are so religious and like here we have the like Catholic but in Nigeria we have like there's not one dominant just religion. yeah, so we and but for me I would still believe I'm watching news yesterday the president is talking about the demography yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah. You know, it's we we just have to do the right thing. Everyone, we have to make impact from we citizen to the government. And who is the government? It's we citizen. We are appointing. We are choosing people. But. Uh, if we wanted to make change, stay, vote, <laughs> make change. In Nigeria, we just have it signed in the law now that 30 years old guy, person, can become president. This is awesome. Mm. Before, it's 65 to 65. 75. So there was only 65, yeah. only above. Yeah. That's interesting. So yeah. to become mayor of your city, like Mr. Bandish, okay. you have to be from 65, 48, 50. 40 for the mayor. It's, it's no, there's no room for youth. Young people. To be, but here. Which is so weird because you have the biggest, I think you have the youngest population yeah, on the planet, yeah, yeah. I think. Or the biggest one after China, maybe. But now, even here, they, they are like, youth can be in the system for a long time, right? Yeah, well. It's, so Less, well, since the system, so it's yeah, so, years. So, ago. do the changes, be part of it. It's not, I know one of my ex girlfriend we are talking about, oh, on uh, the election time, uh, I cannot vote, I still don't have right, right, but she can vote. Oh, she said, I'm going to vote tomorrow, da, 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 da. we already agree. Then the mother called in the morning. Are you going to vote? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you should vote for, for that. Uh, okay, mama. I said, no, but we said you are going to, to uh, wrap up our beliefs. Uh, no, mama said that you vote for, no, I cannot. Yeah, that's, yeah. So, I believe that's happened to me. That would happen to thousands of youths. You know, like, our parents is choosing for us what we should believe on. While, while we have our own belief, but still because... Oh, I love my friend, or they are still paying our school fees and everything, or something. So we should listen to them. So all these things, and running away from the country, we all have to. I run. No, it's I mean because it's interesting. You mentioned earlier that people in Nigeria have this idea of smiling. Yeah. Even when when when, when stuff is bad, and and. Here in Croatia, we always have a feeling we're not smiling enough. That people always have a sad face, and when you're it's still, it's, is it's, it true? It's still better than in Netherlands. Really? Yes. And really, we, we look more smile. Croatia is still okay, more. Austria. <laughs> Austrians no, look I'm telling cool. you, I, I, I just came back from other country. I'm like, I'm going back to Zagreb. I can't. So we're not that bad. So we're, we're no, 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 sometimes no. smiling. No, sometimes Croatia not. is okay. not bad. It's for me. It's gradually, we're just in EU. Maybe more things will happen. More Polska, more Austriansky, more Slovenia, more European will come in for Erasmus Plus, for youth in action, for business. Especially when you go in Schengen, it will be like open. Yeah, it's open borders. You, you can open. always then, see, you mentioned Erasmus. Yeah, it's, it was always, you could feel it. You could yeah. feel the change the moment no, all, the foreign students things, started coming very in and important. our students went away. It's a very good project from the European Union. Because bringing youth from 
right, left, center, and you know, with different belief, with different background, with different culture, with different language together, tackling some uh, maybe it's small issue or something. But believe me, it's a very, very big something step because we are the future of tomorrow. We're gonna be the present, the premier, the everything tomorrow. So the project now that this project of youth in action and responsibility and everything, it's really great. And we need more of such. In short, every country should have such that sense of internship and everything. They should emulate it if they want to really to deal with integration, diversity and everything. If not like most, but if they are interested and, and I think using using I mean specifically you students and youth it's, you know, you, when they're young, when they're shaping their opinions, it's very important. I think, I think music helps and, 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 and like art helps and I mean, Nollywood, right? It's in, in a, so it's what, the oh. third biggest now, it's the third or the second biggest. You are talking or about... even the first biggest, something like that. It's the biggest movie industry that I don't think a lot of people in Croatia know about this. You know, my country, me and my friend, there's no one day we are not talking about the new movie that before came you out. before you check your phone you see movie so oh my god what happened under that i haven't watched the part two of that one they did last time and everything is so funny <laughs> and i was talking about but over the top they, over the they top said one. something like in a nollywood movie you can shoot someone through this glass <laughs> this glass will not break but you will die <laughs> You know, you can shoot from in the car, the glass will not break, and the person yeah, in the, the car is dead. <laughs> it's like crazy, because they make a fast movie. It's, it's well, how many, but it's like hundreds and hundreds of years. Because too, there's too much people that are, they are watching it. So they have cinema, they call it like a cine star. Mm -hmm. Before the film goes into a CD, it will be already there. And it, Believe me, if like one million people watch one movie, you oh, know how right, much you're gonna right. get. It's, it's almost 200 million people, so yeah, that's a lot of money. Even though it's, it's, if it's one corner, yeah, is that one still, million, still corner? million corner? Exactly. So it's, it's but um, so I guess, but uh, how people start doing it is the big studios, but there's also like young people trying young people. it. Now we have a lot of young people, producer, so we call them young producer, uh, wicked producer. Everybody with us, we can a lot of names, a lot of yeah, young people. They are showing a lot of interest in uh, startup things. They are being professional because and uh, so that's why we have a lot of we have so much young people. That's why they are into many things. That hurt, and, like a ninety million, almost half yeah, of the population and it, it's is boosting. under eighteen. Yeah, it's boosting. So, but that means that. Your, your YouTube is going crazy and viral as well. Really crazy. Every, all the if videos, everybody's every on the camera, everybody's shooting when you something. Shows, you will see video of Davido movie, 45 million people watch, 65 million people watch your YouTube. One, One two, YouTube video. three minutes, it's something. <laughs> so yeah. that's great. So yeah, Nigeria is uh, kind of it's, it's, leading it's, the way it's, in it's, video, it's, video it's, production. Uh, it's a very great country. Great, 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 great country. But that needs a lot of... Uh, attention and uh, like I said I speak about that country every day I think it's gonna be good not in my own time no okay not in my own time it's gonna be good in that country maybe my grandson but we should help them and that's what we are doing from when I was uh, you know myself I've been doing everything straight in my life in Nigeria. So it's gonna be a problem for someone yeah, like that have idea like me. If you are not corrupt then you are not mm. you are not it's not for you. So you have to be corrupt and then if you are corrupt then everything will will stay the same. Yeah, but yeah. I can make change. I really do in my own area and I do and it's really interesting and I wish I have more power, more and I yeah. understand. No, I think that I think it's very similar to what people in Croatia are thinking. You know, hopefully but things for are me, gonna get better. I if want not in for Croatia, them, a lot of youth should exercise their right and they should not listen to the 
belief of their parent. They should think this is new era. They should do what is good for them. They should support. If they want change, of course they can do it. We can. You uh, democracy is for the people. People who have the democracy. People we people owns the power, not people who are there. Okay, when it's time, time for election, they will cook beans on the truck. They will share a uh, lot of something as gifts, and you take that, you finish. So the, your life will remain same. The karma on credit will remain same, and a lot of things will remain same, or even get worse. But if we all do the right thing, what we believe is good, uh, then things we, we you can even have chance to be part of it and make your belief make it right. Yeah. Specifically, living in a country that is that is part of the inter- EU, which is which is. In, in, a, in a sense, uh, if we have people who are moving here in order to create something, you know, it gives you a little bit of a more of, of a feeling that things can be done. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, you went against so many odds. It, yeah. it wasn't easy, I bet. And it considering and it's not easy now, I mean, a restaurant in Croatia, it's not it's easy not, at all, right? It's not. It's never easy. It's like a, a luta continua, how we say the facts. Struggle continue. So, but I believe we can. I am so optimistic that it can always be better. Okay. We just, we just need to do something. Being optimistic, I completely agree with you. Yeah. Adi, thank you very much for thank this you very conversation. Much. And thank you. Uh, let's be both optimistic on the end. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, how will the game end between Nigeria and Croatia? You know, I didn't tell you something. A uh, Nigerian team that goes now to the World Cup, they are the youngest team in all the world. Okay. They, our oldest guy there is Mikel Obi, who has 34 oh, yeah. years old. Oh, of course. The rest guys, they are from 19 to 22. That's so. This, are, they are the, they, this is their first time of going to World Cup. So whatever they do, it's a success. It's a success. I, I want to raise this flag uh-huh. for the beginning. Okay. <laughs> I'm hoping... <laughs> We will win the first match. <laughs> if we won, I'm going to give you free African drink and uh, puff puff. Oh, okay. If okay. you want, if, if you come, if if we win, it. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy you something. Okay. Okay. But okay, great. Just for the love of football, no hate. No, nothing. of course, love okay. of football. And so, but if you can say what would be the score, if let, let's the give score, a projection. The score. We we have a. Uh, Obichai, mm-hmm. how would they say in Croatia? Yeah, Obichai, in yeah. English custom. That our first match we play narration like one one ah, okay. zero 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 because uh, it's just the beginning. Or we lost. Oh, but you know the the youth they play with uh, Croatian under twenty or under nineteen last year. The Croatian beat us two one. They beat Nigeria, but we won the cup. Oh, so. So okay, let's agree on that. We <laughs> we beat you in the first game, and we won the World Cup. <laughs> it's a deal, okay? It's a deal. I'll sign it. No problem. But, but we always lose. We always lose from the winners. We always get kicked out by winners, so it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> but this first match is so important to me. I've talked about it too much. If it be zero zero, I will be so happy. But if it is. Oh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll I don't see. know what we, we have. Good players, but, but they're not yet. But a we are team. Team. Yeah, they are so young. They are young, and anything they do, we will. Uh, I will be with them. Everyone will be with them because they are young. This is our first experience, and we shouldn't expect really, really much. But in the game of football, I remember yeah, when they, you know, uh, uh, Mikel Obi. Yeah, Mikel. From Chelsea, right? Here, from Chelsea. Yeah, now in China. Mikel Rubi and uh, uh, Leo Messi, okay. they came out the same time. We played together and uh, under 21 the same time. And, you know, and uh, Leo Messi was no, very Messi. fast. Yeah. And uh, Mikel stayed in Chelsea, but he played the midfield because he's just midfielder. And he Play. It was like also striker at the beginning, but you know it depends on the which coach. 
that no, he knows the trainer. Nice but he was good in Chelsea. He spent four seasons. Four seasons. Yeah, yeah. Four seasons. He was amazing. He's so, so amazing. Yeah, player. he was. He was there all his life. Yeah, all the all, all know, stars. You know, so it's, it's like a night. Man U and Chelsea. They are fighting on him. Who is going to buy him? And he shows Chelsea instead of uh, Man U. But it's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's all big. So long. anything that come out of this football, I will take it. These are youth, young team, and for the love of football, I will support Nigeria. But when we are kick out, I'm always with Vatrana, <laughs> <laughs> with Croatia, always in my heart. I also too. You can maybe uh, uh, drum a sound if you want to play something on the end as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's. I could a little bit. Everybody, thank you for watching. See you next week.